friends press the subscribe button and the bell icon for more such easy video updates friends in today's video lecture we are going to study one of the most important topic of plant reproduction that is double fertilization when we use the word double fertilization we need to understand what exactly fertilization is so when we talk about fertilization it is defined as process of union of haploid male gamete with haploid female gamete to form diploid zygote that is called as fertilization now we need to understand in angiosperm there is a special mechanism of reproduction all the angiosperms they show double fertilization when i use the word double fertilization it simply means that there are two male gametes and there will be two times fertilization taking place so when we talk about double fertilization for your exams you need to understand there was a scientist in the name of navaschen who studied double fertilization in lilium martagon and fritillaria plant male gametophyte first we need to understand and as well as the female gametophyte so whenever we talk about male gametophyte we need to understand that in male there are two haploid male gamete and a vegetative nucleus the role of the vegetative nucleus is to give rise to pollen tube vegetative nucleus can also be called as tube nucleus female gametophyte is seven celled and eight nucleated structure where we need to understand secondary nucleus and the egg cell most important part that will take part in fertilization so first let's understand what exactly is first fertilization so whenever we talk about first fertilization it is haploid male gamete fusing with the egg cell so male gamete and the egg cell that is haploid they form together a diploid zygote and this zygote develops into embryo this first fertilization is also called as syngeny when we talk about second fertilization it is male gamete which is haploid with secondary nucleus or definitive nucleus which is diploid so male gamete plus secondary nucleus so 2n plus n gives endosperm that is 3n a nutritive tissue role is to provide nourishment second fertilization is also called as triple fusion because three nuclei fuses together when we talk about double fertilization first we need to understand one word that is called as pollination what exactly happens the pollen grain from the anther is released and it is going to fall on the stigma of the female flower so here we are going to first draw the diagram of gynoecium which consist of three parts that is the stigma style and ovary inside the ovary we are going to draw ovule now ovule consist of seven cell and eight nucleated structure where three cells are at chalaza end three cells at micropyle end and middle will be two nucleus and one cell structure so what we need to understand here this is what i'm drawing is all integuments and then finally we connect it to the ovary so three cells which i am drawing at the chalaza end these are antipodal cell and the role of this cell is to provide nourishment to the secondary nucleus so secondary nucleus is in the center it has two nucleus and one cell it is also called as definitive nucleus towards micropyle end there will be a center egg cell surrounding the egg cell there will be synergids the role of synergid is to provide nourishment to the egg cell and all these are nucellus that is going to provide nourishment to the embryo sac so what exactly happens after pollination the pollen grain falls on the stigma and the stigma provides sugary fluid to the pollen grain so when the stigma provide sugary fluid to the pollen grain the pressure 
due to the fluid inside the pollen grain increases as a result the vegetative nucleus with the help of the intain is going to rupture one of the germ pore and it will give rise to pollen tube so this pollen tube now will try to enter into the ovule for fertilization so it mostly enters through the micro pile we need to understand that the pollen grain has a generative cell which afterwards undergoes mitosis and forms two haploid male gamete so the generative cell undergoes second mitosis and two haploid male gametes are formed now the pollen tube is going to enter in the ovule through the micro pile so when pollen tube enters through micro pile we need to understand it is called as porogamy the word poro is for micro pile pore and gamy is for marriage so fertilization through micro pile now the pollen tube is going to rupture one of the synergids and as a result all the cytoplasm of the pollen grain and the male gamete enters into the embryo sac now when pollen tube is involved in fertilization it is called as siphonogamy so the pollen tube possesses nucellus passes through the nucellus and ruptures one of the synergids so what happens the first male gamete now enters and it fertilizes the egg cell so this is called as first fertilization where both the egg cell and the male gamete they are haploid and they form a diploid zygote which further develops into embryo and now the second male gamete is going to fertilize the secondary nucleus which is 2n so haploid male gamete plus diploid secondary nucleus results in the formation of second fertilization or triple fusion or it is also called as endosperm formation so it forms a endosperm what is the role of endosperm it provides nourishment to the developing embryo now these are the most important part that we need to understand in double fertilization since both the male gametes are used therefore we call it as double fertilization fertilization through pollen tube is siphonogamy the word siphono is pollen tube and gamy is for marriage sometime the pollen tube might enter through the chalaza then the process is called as chalazogamy or sometime the pollen tube might enter from the integuments and if they enter through integuments it is called as mesogamy so pollen tube it may enter through chalaza it is chalazogamy and through integument it is called as mesogamy so most important part that we need to understand here in double fertilization so it is the only feature of angiosperm gymnosperms do not undergo double fertilization in gymnosperms we can say that the endosperm is haploid it is not having 2n or 3n set so hope you have understood the concept of double fertilization the numericals related to this topic is there in my video in another video the description is there do subscribe to the channel give a like if you have understood the video thank you very much